Hi friends, it's Miss Alyssa with the Hoover Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me for story time today. I have a very, very fun book to share with you today. It is called Mary Had a Little Glam. And you may notice that I tried a little extra hard today to look nice. I put on a fancy shirt. Uh, my friend Madeline, who also works at the Hoover Library, actually gave me this shirt. I have a necklace, I have some earrings, you know tried to glam it up a little for this book. Now, you may notice that Mary here has lots of different accessories, but she has one accessory that I like in particular. Does anybody know what those are? Those are her glasses. Yes, so I thought before we got started with the book, let's do a warm-up song about glasses. You ready? These are Grandma's glasses, this is Grandma's hat. This is the lace she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses, this is Grandpa's hat. This is the way he folds his hands to take a little nap. These are Baby's glasses, this is Baby's hat. This is the way she folds her hands, just like that. All right, y'all ready for the story now? Here it is. This is called Mary Had a Little Glam. It is by Tammy Sauer, and the wonderful illustrations are by Vanessa Brantley Newton. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Lots of different clothing and accessories. Mary had a little glam. I think we should sing this one, don't you? Okay. Mary had a little glam that grew into a lot. And everywhere that Mary went, she wasn't hard to spot. Can you spot her? There she is. Is that your curtain? Meow! But on the day she started school, she caught some by surprise. Sweet Mary shrugged and hugged her mom. I must accessorize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Mary click-clacked down the block in frilly formal wear. And by the time she got to school, she'd added extra flair. Oh no, when Mary took a look around, her heart was filled with woe. The other kids in class with her were glamless, head to toe. Oh dear. So, Mary offered fashion tips. More pink, more beads, more shine. A hat for him and trim for her. Go boa, it's divine. Ooh. Soon Mary brought out glitz and glam in everyone she met. The students, teacher, principal, and Clark, the classroom pet. Do you see what kind of classroom pet they have? Oh, looks like a boa constrictor to me. <laughs> now story time had gowns and crowns and mounds of striped chiffon. The art class came with glitter glue and trips to her salon. Then, Mary amped up music class with pomp and circumstance. At checkout time, she was sublime, left not a thing to chance. Wow. <laughs> the morning flew, and soon it was the best part of the day. It's recess time, the teacher said, and Mary led the way. 
Recess was always one of my favorite times in school. How about you? But all came to a sudden stop. Each kid surveyed the scene. We're clearly dressed all wrong for this, boo-hooed the seventeen. Poor Mary twirled her parasol. This crisis was a ten. She'd never figure out a plan. All was lost. But then... She tossed her shades and silk-lined cape, her scarf and strappy shoes, and Mary's friends were just as fast. There was no time to lose. The class raced for the jungle gym, the spiral slide and swings. Then Mary grinned and grabbed a ball among some other things. Whoa! That looks like fun. Now, Mary's flair for what to wear is better than before. True glamour often calls for lots, but sometimes less is more. <laughs> the end. I just think that is the most clever, beautifully illustrated book, and I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed getting glammed up and accessorized with you today, and we will see you next time for Hoover Library Storytime. Bye, friends.